All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So this took almost five years to happen, but the time has finally come for the free-to-play AGL Whis and the Fizz Hatchiak from the Hero Extermination Story event to get their Dokkan Awakenings. So let's check out uh, what they do, what kind of changes they made. Of course, a big shout out to the homie Goresh for these uh, timely transactions. No, translations, my bad. And uh, why don't we start with the Hatchiak first. So it's Fizz, Super Hatchiak, Leader Skill, all types keep plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 30%. Super Attack raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage. And Passive is Attack and Defense plus 60%, gains an additional Attack and Defense plus 30% at the start of every turn up to a max of 90%. If there is a Pure Saiyans or Hybrid Saiyans category enemy, and then recovers HP by 40% at the end of the turn when landing the finishing blow. Links are Berserker, Big Bad Bosses, Tough as Nails, Hatred of Saiyans, Fear and Faith, Infighter, and Shattering the Limit. And categories are Artificial Life Forms, Revenge, and Crossover. So overall, um, you know, he's not bad. He's definitely better. Much, much better than he was before. I mean, check out his pre-awakening details, right? He used to do um, extreme damage, and his only passive was to deliver final blow for 40% recovery, and his leader skill was all types attack plus 20%. So when you see that, you're like, okay, huge, huge improvement. Um, I still don't see a lot of people running him, unless you're like very new, and you just need like fillers for, um, I guess, extreme fizz, or artificial life forms, I guess, or crossover, or something like that. But um, yeah, he's, he's okay. I mean, if you're facing a pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans, you know, after a couple turns, it's getting up to 150% attack and defense, so uh, that's not bad. But of course, his stats aren't very high. He does have the, the traditional free-to-play stats, so um, even with 100% or 150% attack and defense, he's still not going to be hitting that hard and not going to be tanking that well. But nonetheless, an improvement. So now moving on to the Whis, it's uh, leader skill, AGL types, T plus 3, HP, attack and defense, plus 50%, super attack, supreme damage, with a medium chance to stun and passive is Q plus 2, defense plus 100%, and then gains an additional uh, defense plus 20% with each attack performed up to a maximum of defense plus 100%, and then high chance of an additional super attack, and also fully restores HP when HP falls below 30% once only, and gains a great chance to evade enemy attacks. So, um, Whis is going to be like a defensive monster man getting up to 200% defense um also uh let's see oh high chance to perform additional super so he's gonna be stunning pretty often and he also once you fall below 30% hp heals you back to full and i believe for the rest of the event rest of the fight he's gonna be getting that great chance or 70% chance to dodge all attacks so while his damage is gonna suck right which i mean it did suck before anyways his defense is going to be pretty insane. Uh, links are Godly Power, Shocking Speed, Connoisseur, Gentleman, Brainiac, Shadow of the Limit. And categories are Realm of Gods, Siblings Bond, Bond of Master and Disciple, as well as Space Traveling Warriors, which is, of course, the brand new category led by the uh, new Transforming Bojack and also the Songmya. Okay, so uh, there you go, guys. Those are the Awakenings for Hatchiak and Whis. Uh, let me quickly check out what Whis did before, actually, because... I kind of forgot. Okay, so extreme damage may stun enemy, which was a 25%. Okay, and uh, recovers all HP when HP is 30% or below once only. Um, so yeah, there you go, guys. Whis and Hatchiak finally awakening. This man initially came out in January of 2016 on JP. So like I said, almost, almost five years at this point, right? And uh, actually, Hatchiak, I think, came out a little bit later. He was December, okay, of 2015. So for him, it's about four years. But either way, man, it was long overdue. It finally happened, and uh, I'm excited. I mean, I actually see people running Whis a lot more than Hatchiak, mainly because Whis, you know, defensively, it's going to be crazy. Like, he's going to be a great, great um, tank for anybody that needs a tank for any of these categories. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, that's all I gotta say, I guess. I, I was gonna 
I was thinking like maybe there was something else I could add to the discussion, but no, I think that's it. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about both of these units. Are you going to be running them on any, on any of your teams? Like I said, I think Whis does have more utility than Hatchiak does, but um, I'm just glad they both finally got Awakenings. Oh, also, oh, hold on. I think um, Goresh did say that he missed a link here. Oh, yeah, Whis also has Cold Judgment. So there you go. Add Cold Judgment to this link set, and uh, that's the Whis for you. Um, one interesting thing to note is that there is a chance, there is a chance that both of these get Extremes the Awakenings at some point in the near future. There's no indication right now, we didn't find anything in the game files about like an Extremes the area or Extremes the uh, Awakening medals, but I just feel like these guys should be getting Extremes the Awakenings sometime soon. It's just a feeling. I don't really know. Like there's no, you know, actual indication. I just think it's going to happen. Oh, by the way, by the way, you can actually watch their animations here on uh, Kawaii's page. So let's actually watch uh, the animations for both of them. Okay, so let's start with the Whis. It's very short, so here we go. Yo, this man literally does the one inch punch, man. Shout out to Bruce Lee, absolute legend, one of my childhood heroes. I mean, still my hero, actually, but yeah, I mean, he does the Bruce Lee one inch punch. Yeah, and he makes that face. I like it, man. It's, it, it's short, it's simple. But it's great. So that's Whis's animation. And then you go over to Hatchiak and they did this man dirty. They really did. Like Whis got this, you know, very short, short, but still pretty dope animation. And then this is Hatchiak's. In fact, I think, you know, I kind of feel like... Oh, I forgot to turn off the audio. Okay. Yeah, I kind of I kind of feel like this is the same as the old one. You know, like it doesn't feel like it's changed. Yo, you guys let me know, but... It doesn't look, yeah, it doesn't look that different from his previous animation. Like, it just looks really bad. And you can clearly tell which one Bandai liked more, you know? Like, clearly the people at Bandai, or Akatsuki, uh, are much bigger fans of Whis, because, like, they did this man dirty, and Whis got a pretty nice animation. So, there you go, guys. Um, let, me see, let me see if there's any updates or anything like that that I missed. I don't think there is. So big shout out to Kawhi for the translations. Big shout out to, or sorry, uh, Goresh for the translations. Big shout out to, to Kawhi for the animations. And uh, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.